Hey, what's up guys? This is Brandon from Everyday EV. And I know that there's a lot of talk going around right now for the uh, fire recalls from General Motors on the 2017 through 2019 Chevy Bolt EVs. And as you guys know, I drive a 2019 Chevy Bolt EV, so my vehicle is actually impacted by this, uh, by this recall. So I wanted to show you guys what you guys can do if you drive a 2019 Chevy Bolt EV to stop the vehicle from charging more than 90%. So I wanted to demonstrate that for you guys. So let's get started. So before we begin today's video, I wanted to show you guys what my current charging situation is like and exactly why I can't do the recommendation that Chevy is saying. Uh, their recommendation is saying that you should park away from the house and away from your garage when charging your vehicle. However, my charger is connected directly to my house, which if you guys can see, the charger's right there and the car's right there. That is probably about maybe less than 10 feet away from the house. So I can't exactly do anything, but the safety recommendations should definitely help. So let's jump in the car, it's raining a bit. Okay, now that we are finally out of the rain, I wanted to demonstrate exactly what you do. So the vehicle's off. Uh, we'll do this in like a step-by-step -step process. So we'll turn on the vehicle. Let that start up. And then you're gonna wanna go to your main touchscreen. And where it says energy, which is this button right here, you just want to select that. And then it's going to pull up these four options for you. From here, you're going to want to hit charging. And then in the charging menu, and now keep in mind, this is just for the 2019 volts. Uh, you're going to see where it says target charge level. Click on that. And it's going to pull up this fun chart. So basically what Chevy is recommending if it's totally filled, that means that your vehicle can charge to 100%. What Chevy and General Motors is recommending, you simply tap twice, and that brings it down to a 90% charge limit, which is what they're recommending. And it's honestly that simple. So then what you do from here, you can just hit your home button, and that's it. And now your car won't charge more than 90%. And now, as I mentioned, this video is strictly meant for 2019 Chevy Bolt EV owners. Uh, if you have a 2017 or a 2018, there is an option what they're calling Hilltop Reserve, and that will stop your vehicle from charging at 90% as well. And that's found within that same charging menu. It just, when they came out with the 2019, they decided to set it up differently when it comes to percentage limits. Uh, so that's really what we're looking at in this car. So I just wanted to confirm with you guys that that's what we're looking at right now. So that's going to be it for today's tutorial. It's really simple, like I mentioned. But before I finish today's video, I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, electric batteries and fire uh, issues or concerns. So the thing is, is that GM is doing a voluntary recall for six, more than 68,000 Bolt EVs from model years 2017 to 2019. And now keep in mind, there is only five reported fires for the Bolt EV for those model years. Now, if you think of it, five out of nearly 70,000 vehicles that have caught on fire, honestly, that's a very low ratio. I get the concern. I definitely understand the voluntary recall. But the reason I'm saying this is not to disregard the fire safety or any concerns that people might be having with this. But the thing is, is that internal combustion engine vehicles catch on fire a large amount more than battery electric vehicles. So just because electric vehicles are newer technology, they tend to end up in the news more frequently than a gas powered vehicle fire. Well, the thing is, is that when you look at the statistics and the ratios, gasoline powered cars catch on fire a lot more often than battery electric vehicles. So just keep in mind, electric vehicles are still incredibly safe and hopefully General Motors and LG Chem can figure out this fire issue because it's, it is a concern. I definitely understand that. But the nice thing is, is right now, at least there's a workaround while they're working out the fix. And now if you want my personal opinion on the recall, I'm still trying to figure out how I feel about it. Uh, I know that there's not a permanent solution to this. It's definitely a workaround right now. And I hope GM and LG Chem can figure out what they're doing when it comes to these vehicles and the batteries. Um, because I, I do enjoy driving my Bolt EV 
It has not been the perfect vehicle, I will say that. My one year review is gonna be coming out soon. I, uh, I just really hope that they can figure it out because it definitely is a concern for a lot of Bolt EV owners and future potential customers. And for me personally, I don't want these fires to concern more people who are thinking of switching to electric because if you're watching this video and you are considering driving an electric vehicle, I feel so safe in this car. I've always felt safe driving in electric vehicles. I've had no concerns about fires up until this point. Obviously, it's since I'm driving this car daily and it's you know charging right by my house, but that's reality. It is definitely a concern in my head, but the thing is is that I know these cars are much safer than a comparable gasoline powered vehicle. So I'm happy driving electric and I will always drive electric, but I'm really, really hoping General Motors and LG Chem can figure this out quick, hopefully. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I know that it was a quick one, uh, but I definitely wanted to show you guys what you guys can do to prepare yourself for this workaround until they figure out a permanent solution for these battery pack fire issues. Uh, but it's super simple. And if you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comment section. I appreciate all the support. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to my channel. I have a goal of hitting a thousand subscribers by the end of this year, a few weeks away, it's still a few hundred away, but you know what, we can do it. So thank you guys for supporting Everyday EV. Stay safe out there, take care and make everyday electrifying. See you guys.